G'day everyone, and welcome back to Good Clean Gaming RX. I am Raptor X, and today we're going to go over starting out in Area 18. This is Star Citizen once again, and uh, we're going to go ahead and do, as I said, an Area 18 start, and go over everything that you might need to know to start out here. So, first of all, uh, of course, to get out of your bed, you can hold Y or any of the directional movement keys, WASD. Uh, this is your starting hab, which will be any of the various different habitation units uh, scattered around throughout the building. Uh, I believe you can turn the lights on if you wish to by pushing the little button there. And that'll kind of turn them on a little bit, but uh, it generally stays pretty dark in here. And since there's not a whole lot to do anyway, uh, generally people just leave. You can explore if you'd like, but we're going to go ahead and get started. Now you can hold the F key and left click on the door there to get out. And you'll just follow this route to get out of the habitation areas. Nice little vista there into the Art Corp area where you can see some of the uh, some of the big buildings and all the different holograms and space uh, traffic and all that kind of stuff going by down there. Um, I've never woken up that direction, but there are more habs over here as well. So if you wake up over here, you'll just follow this one to get out. Okay, so elevator again, you'll hold F and click with your left mouse button to call the elevator. and hold F and click on ground floor. That'll take you out to the main area. Now, area 18 is uh, one of the older areas to wake up in and is notorious for not having the best frame rate. Um, I generally use Lorville as my starting location, but there are a couple of different places here uh, and reasons to come, so we'll go over those while we're here. Uh, first off, when you walk out of your habitation area, right over there, you'll have the cassava outlet, which is right across this little square. And there's all sorts of different uh, clothing and other leisure items uh, that you can purchase inside the building. This is, I think, one of their larger outlets. And they've got all different kinds of uh, clothing, jackets, shoes, pants, hats, all different kinds of stuff here that one can purchase. And you can do that, of course, by just walking around and taking a look at the items on the shelf, holding the F or interact button, and try them on or buy them, as you can see. Or, of course, you can go to any of the kiosks to try them on. This would be one of the cassava kiosks right there. You can again hold F and click to purchase any of the different jackets. You can of course hit quick buy or if you want multiple, you can click on them and you know buy multiple of them that way. I really don't run around in civilian clothing very much as I'm generally doing most of my activities out in space, but if you like the aesthetic, you can do that now in 317.2 because every landing zone has got hangars, so you don't have to go out into space to actually get into your ship. Uh, there are water and drinks and stuff that you can purchase here, of course, which uh, you will need as your food and water content will drain over time but it's really not a whole lot of stuff to worry about. It's, it's not particularly hard. Uh, next up, we have the Cubby Blast, uh, where you can get uh, weapons. There's some of them, of course, lined up out here. And then their main display floor inside. Uh, not all of the weapons available are stored on the racks. Uh, some of them are only visible uh, using one of the terminals, which are just inside the door here. Um, you've got obviously ammunition and all that kind of stuff. These are just decorative 
um, and some various different outfits, of course, that you can purchase as well. Interesting that they're putting that one right there. Um, all of these, of course, can be looked up and purchased on the terminal. Either of the terminals are right over here. Um, I don't believe there's a whole lot that can be done over here. Of course, you've got your gray cat mining tools, the multi-tool, and then you've got the orbit mining attachment and the oxy cutter or oxy torch cutter attachment uh, that can go on to your multi-tool. And then, of course, some various other suits of armor that you can purchase and put onto your character. Uh, to actually get into any of these to take a look at them, you can hit the F or hold the F key and uh, there we go. Rotate with your mouse to actually take a little look around the thing and see kind of what it looks like. And then you can hit the E key to exit. So that can be done with any of these various different armor sets that are on display. And of course you can purchase any of those at the various different consoles. Okay, so continuing on, we'll get out of Cubby Blast and see what else we can see over here. There's not a whole lot down there. That will take you to the Art Court Plaza. That, of course, is your... Uh, sorry, there is quite a bit down there. That'll take you to the Art Court Plaza. This is where you wake up. I don't come to Area 18 a whole lot. Zone 2 is down there. We'll get out to there. Actually, let's go this direction. Uh, zone 2 will take you out to the turn. You go know, that way to get to the main Art Court Plaza. Or you can head across the little bridge here to the Astro Armada where if you have some money you can purchase any of the various different ships that are on display. Uh, the only one actually physically on display is the Anvil Hawk, but you can get into these again by holding F and left clicking and see any of the other different fighters that one can purchase. Um, I'm currently saving up for the Asperia Blade and I'm so close. 245,000 alpha USC away now. Pretty soon. Maybe by the next video even. However, we'll have to wait for another day to see that. Um, again, not all of the ships are purchasable from this location. Some of them can only be purchased at Orison, and some can only be purchased at Lorville. But there's a decent selection. Uh, they've got everything from the little grey cat buggy uh, all the way up to some of the bigger ships in game. Uh, let's see here, they've got the Banu Defender, another one of the ships that I'm going to save up for. Uh, they should have, let's see, they've got a POA, they've got some of the Anvil ships. Um, basically, a decent number. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. And we'll leave you to peruse this at your leisure. Hello, there's the train. Now, coming back out, we can head to our left. This one is just closed. It's restricted. Can't get into there anyway. If you head down the stairs here, though, and then head to your right, you can go to the Dumper's Depot. This is where you can buy various different ship components to put on to any of the ships that you might have. If you're just starting out, you probably have either the Aurora or the Mustang which can be outfitted with various different upgrades to make them a little bit more usable. 
There's a decent selection here, of course, various different sizes and grades, all of which can be accessed at any of these terminals. One of the great resources for getting these and, and finding where each of these different items would be is urkel.games, E-R-K-U-L dot games. Look them up online. It's a great resource for finding all the locations that you can purchase each of these different pieces of equipment and which ones will fit into any of your ships as well as if you create an account being able to save loadouts put them into a shopping cart making a nice shopping list and uh, generally just a very handy tool I'll post a link down below in the description to make that a little bit easier to get to there are of course several different tunnels and little offshoots down here one of them has got a character that you can interact with um, I think she runs a little bit more of a criminal organization and I'm not a criminal so I haven't really interacted with her a whole lot but down one of these side tunnels uh, there is one of the NPCs that you can get missions from. We'll take this up to the main plaza. There are of course many different ways to get back to the main plaza as that's kind of the center. And there's a lot more here. Most of the shops though you can't really do a whole lot with. So we're going to proceed to the main Art Corp Central Plaza. So, that's where we've come out of, right underneath the big fizz can there. This is the Art Corp 10 Tower. And here you have the admin trading and shipping consoles, several of those over there. And then the elevators. And these go up to the center mass. So we'll go ahead and take one of the elevators and go up there and see what can be seen at the center mass location. Uh, center mass, of course, is one of the weapons dealers, not ship weapons specifically, um, and one of the places where you can purchase all kinds of things that go pew pew for your spaceships. Um, they don't have everything because of course there are various different locations around the verse that specialize in certain items but they do have again a decent selection what broadsword cannon wow that almost looks like a giant sniper rifle anyhow that one does go on a ship I believe 11 series broadsword yeah, definitely a ship weapon for that price. Of course, you can look any of these up at the consoles here. These are in any of the different purchasing locations. And you can scroll through and see them. Clicking on them will give you the size, type, manufacturer, and a nice little blurb about the uh, description of them. And you can purchase them, of course, if you've got enough money. I'd recommend using Urkel Games, of course, Urkel.games to look and see which ones will better fit your equipment and familiarizing yourself with the various different weapon types distortion is for messing up people's electronics um, then you've got laser cannons which are slow firing but do a lot more damage uh, then you have ballistic repeaters which are ballistic machine guns. They do solid, uh, fire solid projectiles and will run out of ammo. Then you have ballistic gatlings which are similar but a little bit different. They have a high rate of fire and generally a higher volume as far as um, the number of bullets in the magazine. Distortion repeaters again. You have the scatter gun which is essentially like a ship mounted shotgun 
These come in at least two different types, ballistic and plasma. Although I think there's a laser cannon as well. Or a laser laser shotgun as well. Let's see what else we have. Uh, Buccaneer spinal mount. Ballistic cannon. These are similar to the laser cannons, except for that they fire solid projectiles. And of course you can get various different um, ammunition. There we go, ballistic cannon. Yep, definitely. Uh, uh, there we go. There's a laser repeater. Those ones have unlimited ammunition, but a little bit of a recharge time, depending on your... or a reload time, you could think of it, depending on your... Um, power plant on your ship and then of course you have the mass driver cannons very very uh, slow to reload but a long range and very very large projectile compared to any of the other ones so plenty of different items to choose from and of course, you can always just walk around the showroom and ogle all of the guns before heading back out. Now, there's not really anything else up here at this point. Uh, in the future, I'm sure they will be adding more locations and more things to look up at here, look at up here. But for now, we're just going to go back down to the central plaza. Oh goodness. <laughs> now there are elevators over here, but I don't believe they actually go anywhere. This one appears to have an interactable, but I think that goes to the top floor. And we don't have access to that at this point. Continuing on around the main plaza. There's not really a whole lot down that side tunnel, but I believe this is where the NPC mission giver is. So we'll head down here and just check that out. She's quite a ways back here, but yes, this is where the, uh, the mission giver is. You can meet up with her once you've gotten enough uh, rep with the criminal factions. I can't talk to her right now, because once again I don't have any sort of criminal reputation. I generally try to stay on the right side of the law, but your playstyle may vary. And there's plenty of room for uh, criminal elements in Star Citizen, um, though it is a little bit harder. So starting out on the right side of the law will help to uh, make your journey a little bit easier. This is the Trade Development Division, or TDD, where you'll sell most of your mined or traded materials. Very similar to the one in Lorville at the Central Business District. All of the sales platforms are right here where you can buy and sell and trade. I've got my Freelancer Max with me this time so I'll kind of show off what you can do with that. Uh, you can buy scrap or waste here. There are some locations that will actually purchase this. You can load in as much as you have money or space to fit. I'm not going to take anything, of course, because I'm not interested in taking any of that. And, of course, you can sell if you have anything in any of your ships that you can sell here. I just took a nice load of quantanium down, actually, and uh, made a quite nice chunk of money. I'll be covering mining in one of my later videos, 
but for right now I'm going around to show everyone how to get started at any of the landing zones that you may start at. Okay, so continuing on, not a whole lot down that side either. Here is the Empire, which is where the hospital is. Empire Health Services. This is where you'll wake up if you set your spawn point to Lorville. Or sorry, not to Lorville, to Area 18. Um, and you'll be able to find your way out. There's the pharmacy, where you can purchase any of the various different medical uh, equipment or supplies. You have your Olympus Insurance, where you can set your respawn point, and patient check-in if you need to go to any of the various different hospitals or any of these different hospital rooms to repair any of your injuries. That's Zone 3. There is a bar down here. But I'm not sure that there's really any functionality in there currently. This is the G-Lock bar. I think you can get drinks. You can actually interact with the uh, with the bartender. But I don't drink, so we won't do that. <laughs> All right. And then, of course, following this route will take you back down to the bridge over to Astra Armada. There's not a whole lot over here. And that's the entrance back to where we wake up. All the Habs are down there in Zone 2. So we're going to continue out. to the spaceport. Now there's nothing currently over there, but whenever there are convention centers or events going on, that's the way you'd find those. The next one of those is probably going to be the... Um, I believe it's the Intergalactic Aerospace Expo. And I'm not sure if that's going to be at this location, Probably in Orison again, as they are showing that one off at this point, as it's their newest station. Oh, we've just missed the train. So, as you can see, 47 seconds. I'm just going to go ahead and pause here, and we'll pick up when the train resumes or returns. Okay, so here comes the tram. This is one easy way to tell where you are. If the train is flying, you've got to be at Arcorp. Well, I guess you could go to Orison as well. They do have flying trams there. The big red buildings will give it away as well. So this uh, this tram ride is close to a minute. Yeah, a minute and 30 seconds. Um, so, of course, if you guys are playing from Area 18, uh, you'll be able to see this journey for yourself. But for those of you who are not, sit back and enjoy the ride. And we'll take a look and see what we can see. goodness. Here we are, some examples of the Area 18 poor frame rate. And one of the reasons that experienced players generally try to avoid it. I've not had this much problem recently. Um, but as you can see, we're definitely having a problem now. Hopefully this will catch up quickly. Oh 
goodness. Well, we skipped most of that trip. So, we won't view any of that flight. <laughs> Glad I was able to get out. Oh, hello. This NPC has figured out phasing, apparently. The server must be getting a little worn down. So you can follow the signs to the Riker Memorial Spaceport, which is where you'll be able to leave Area 18. Just follow this through the customs area. Here are your fine payment locations if you happen to get any of those. Generally one gets those for leaving their ship in an area that they're not supposed to or blocking an active flight bay. And you can call your ship by holding F and left clicking once again. I'm going to grab my freelancer Max. Hangar 8. Hangar elevators are straight past the terminals. And of course, if you look up, everything is pretty well signposted. For the latest travel information, be sure to check the departure and arrival boards conveniently located around the spaceport. So it's pretty easy to find where you need to go and how to get there. Alright, we've arrived at our hangar. And there is my freelancer Max. You can enter your ship by holding F and left clicking on the enter ship button. This one's a rather big one and definitely not one that you'll start out with. But it's the one I have here with me today. If you happen to have everything turned off, as you will if you're just getting into the verse for the first time, this is what you'll see. You can hit the R button on your keyboard to turn everything on, and everything will begin to power up. Your shields will show down at the start. You can put them to max faster by holding the F7 key, and that diverts all power to shields. In this case, you can see that right down here. with all of my power, the top right hand corner of that triangle there. Those are the shields, top left is weapons, and the bottom are your thrusters or engines. Everything's charged up at this point, so I'm going to go ahead and swap that back to balanced by holding F8. And we'll press landing by hitting F1, hitting the comlink button down on your left bottom left side, clicking on friends, and clicking the area 18 landing services button. This will open up the bay doors above you. We'll see if we can get a, a shot of them or not. Probably not. We'll have to see them when we take off. There we are. Once those are retracted, you can hold your space bar to lift off. Holding the Z key will allow you to freely look around. Holding W will allow you to go forward. A and D will allow you to slide left or right, or strafe left or right. Q 
and E will allow you to roll left or right. And pitch is controlled with your mouse. Up, down. Yaw is controlled with your mouse also to the left and to the right. If you wish to go down, holding the control key will initiate a downward thrust. But for now, we're going to continue out of atmosphere and into space. Hitting the B key will spool your quantum drive. And once you are out of the atmosphere, each of these icons that you can jump to will turn light blue. And you'll be able to align to them, like so. Once you're aligned and fully calibrated, as you can see on the left hand side of the bar there, you can then hold the B key to initiate quantum travel. The server is having some problems today, so we've missed all of the quantum travel experience there. This is Bajini Point, the orbital space station for Area 18. And unless you need to be down at Area 18, if you're going to base out of this area, where I would recommend setting your spawn location. If you're just starting out the game, you won't have a whole lot as far as things to move. So that won't be much of an issue. But the inventories for Area 18 and Bajini Point are now separated. So if there's anything that you have that you want here, you'll need to move that into your local inventory. You can do that once you're aboard your ship by hitting the I button on your keyboard. Come on, boss, slow down. There we go. And then clicking and dragging each of the items from the Area 18 inventory over to your ship's local inventory once you're on your ship. And that will allow you to bring those with you. You can request landing, of course, by hitting F1 for communications, com link in the bottom left, and requesting landing by clicking on the Pagini point. I've got that bound now to a key combination on my keyboard, so I skip the tedious bit of getting into the communications. Oops, I don't have my landing gear down. That'll help. There we are. We'll go ahead and get into here a little bit farther. There we go. And pulse control to bring the ship down. And there we are. You can hold a Y to get out of your seat. And hitting the I button will turn your engines off, which is advised in this patch at least, 317.2 as ships left with their engines on can sometimes be found floating inside the hangar, which can make them inaccessible when you return. You can call the elevator by holding F and left clicking. And the same for Hitting the lobby button there. Short elevator ride will take you to the main lobby where you can store your ship by clicking, holding F and left clicking again, 
and storing. And then you'll be able to retrieve it by following the same procedure and hitting the retrieve button when it's time to get your ship back out again. If you find yourself stuck in any of these terminals holding the S button to back away from the terminal should get you out of it. Otherwise patiently waiting will also time out the terminal. Your interstation elevators are right there just back from the entrance. Your HAPs are right over there. And the clinic is right here if you wish to set your spawn point. Olympus Principal Insurance right there will allow you to do that. There's the pharmacy and the patient check-in. I would advise you to stay away from any of the medical equipment, such as the wheelchairs, or any of the medical beds, as they've been known to kill players by accident. They're going to fix that at some point, but for right now, yeah, leave them well enough alone. Interstation transport will take you to one of three different locations. You have the cargo center, the galleria, and hangars and habs, which is where we're currently at. We'll go to the gallery first. There are various different shops here. A clothing store. A ship weapons store. food quarters that way, and a platinum bay. This is very similar to Dumper's Depot, except for they generally have higher class um, ship components. Any of these terminals can be used to purchase those, and then they can be installed on your ship. There's a little waiting area over here. Not really a whole lot going on. If you go up the stairs here, there is the admin station and the bar. Trading and shipping consoles and the Kovalec shipping hub. bar of course in here. None of this can be interacted with yet, but they're also going to be fixing that. And the NPCs who don't know which direction they're facing. It is still an alpha, so forgive the uh, bugs and glitches. And if we go through to the food court, you've got various different food shops through here. You can run around, get yourself a bowl of noodles. Well, actually, I'm not sure if you can get a bowl of noodles at this point or not. I don't believe you can. Just water or fizz. Again, in the future, you'll be able to get noodles. They've got a juice bar, where again you can get drinks. Mostly just the water. Although, you can also buy different apples. Can you get the watermelon? No watermelon yet. One day. Berry blend smoothie. And of course the Vesta water. Most of these shops are like that. The burrito bar, you can get some of the burritos. And either the different drinks. Nothing really to purchase here that I'm aware of. 
This is a nice little cigar bar, apparently. Heading down the stairs will take you to Elroy's, which is more of a pizza and burger joint. Although they do have some various different fruits, which unfortunately you can't purchase. They do have some coffee and some little energy bars. Really all you need right now in Star Citizen. They'll keep you topped off. There's another hot dog bar over here where you can purchase the hot dogs both single and double dogs and any of the different energy drinks. And of course just run around and take a look at the scenery. Alright, we'll head back up and we will go down to the cargo center to wrap up the last of our tour. As you can see in the bottom left hand side of my screen there, I'm starting to run a little bit low on water. So purchasing any of the hydrating drinks and consuming those will bring that back up to a happy and healthy level. Holding the F button and left clicking of course is the interaction queue and will allow you to interact with any of the various different items that can be interacted with, picked up, purchased, sat on, doors opened. Basically everything that you can interact with is done by holding F and left clicking. You can purchase a couple different armor suits. This is the hazard suit and the beacon undersuit. Here are the cargo shops where you can purchase any of the different items that can be purchased here. Including the little backpacks and jackets and the grey cap mining tool, pyro multi-tool, the mining attachment and the oxy torch attachment. There is a gravity tool that can be purchased as well. Right here it's not on display. And if you wish to rent more of a cargo focused ship, you can click into the Traveler Rentals and you can rent the Misc Freelancer for $33,000 a day, the Avenger Titan for $15,000 a day, or the Drake Cutlass Black for $27,000 a day. We'll return to the hangars and habs. And that will conclude our tour. In the near future, probably in the 3.18 update, this area will be a little bit more active as we're getting a cargo refactor. And all of this is going to become more important. We might see uh, the different cargo tools driving around and picking different cargo containers. There will be loading and unloading of cargo, so you may have to come down here. But for right now, it's just window dressing. And lots of NPCs. Must be muster. No, it's just a bug. Alright, we're going to go ahead and we'll head back up to Hangers and Habs. Oops. station elevators and where you can exit all right ladies and gentlemen well that will be it for today's video thank you for watching take care and I will see you in the verse